All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I will be doing my Nintendo Wii collection. Um, my last um, collection video I did was the Wii U collection, and it did pretty good. Um, it has 100 views right now. Um, if you haven't seen that video, just um, I will put uh, a link in the description for that video so you can just go back and watch that one. Um, I also have a PlayStation 3 collection up, and I have a PlayStation 4 collection videos up as well. And it's in the Switch collection as well, which is my most successful video. Very, very happy about that. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the system. I mean, to um, into my um, <laughs> Switch collection. Um, but before I do that, I will talk about the Wii a little bit. Um, I had first got the Wii back in um, 2008, I want to say. Yeah, 2008, because I didn't get it when it first came out in 2006. Um, I actually wasn't able to afford it, you know, so when I got my job, my first job, I just, you know, saved up and, you know, waited to get one. And um, the first game I had got was, um, well, you'll see when I get to it. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed the Wii. It was my, it was probably my least favorite console that generation, but... I did enjoy, you know, the Mario games, the Zelda games, and some of the third parties. I did have some fun with that over the third parties from PlayStation 3 and 360. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the collection. Um, I have a huge stack of games here, and I can't wait to show you everything. First game is um, Super Mario All-Stars. This is just a, a re-release of the Super Nintendo game. Comes with all four games. Yeah, it's basically just a copy and paste of Super Mario All Stars for the Super Nintendo. Um, it comes with Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, um, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, and Super Mario Brothers 3. All great games, all great games. I really enjoyed playing these when I was younger on my Super Nintendo. I got so much fun out of this, and I put so many hours into it. It just felt like you're getting everything with just this, just these four games. You know, this will last you a while if this was the only game you had back then. Next up is New Super Mario Bros. U. I mean, a Wii. Really fun game. Not as good as the DS version, but has some pretty cool level designs. This, um,. I believe this is the first game to have Ice Mario. I could be wrong. I think Galaxy is the first game to have Ice Mario. But they changed it up in this one. Next up is Super Paper Mario. I still have yet to play this one. I really want to, but I want to go back and play the other ones first. Um, the original one on N64 and Thousands Year Door. Thousand Year Door, I really want to play those first before I get into this one. But this one looks cool. I can't wait to try it out. Next up is Super Mario Galaxy. One of my favorite games on the Wii. I played this again not too long ago on the Switch. A part of the 3D All-Star World. 3D All-Stars collection. So much fun. I love everything about this game. The music, the graphics, um, the level design, everything is just great about this game. One of my favorite Mario games of all time. Next up is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Feels more like a um, an expansion pack, I guess, but it's still its own game. Still a full sequel. And one of the few systems to have like two big Mario games on one system is the Wii. Hopefully we'll see that with the Switch. Next up is Mario Party 8. This is the last Mario Party um, game to just feature the characters by themselves going across the boards before they switch to the, the all the characters in one cart which I really didn't like, but I remember having some fun with this one. I think one of my favorites is the one where you have like a can of soda and you have to shake it as as much as you can. 
I gotta see who scores out the most soda. <laughs> that one was fun. Next up is Mario Party 9. This is when they start the all characters in one card. You know, I really didn't like that they did that, but they did have some pretty fun, fun mini games in here. I love the cover art in this one. This is probably like the best cover art for a Mario Party game. It just looks so dope. But yeah, that's Mario Party 9. Next up is Fortune Street. Never played this one. Still sealed. I heard it was good. But I didn't expect a game like this to come out. Um, it's made by Square Enix and Nintendo. As you can see, there's some characters from some of the Square Enix games. I really don't know anything. Maybe it's Jack Dragon Quest. I really don't know. But it looks like a fun game. I'm not sure if I'm going to open it, though. <laughs> Next up is Mario Strikers Charge. Um, I really wish they bring this back. These games were pretty fun on the GameCube and the Wii. Didn't play them that much, but from what I played, it's pretty fun games. Hopefully they'll make a sequel. Next up is Mario Power Tennis and also Mario Power Tennis. <laughs> I know you're asking like, why do I have two copies? Um, I don't know why. I just, <laughs> I just thought I didn't have the game one day and I re-bought it. And I got home and I checked and see if I have it. And it turns out I do have it. Yeah, so I bought this game twice. But this game is really fun. It's like one of the best, you know, tennis games. And one of the best Mario tennis games. The new one um, is fun, but it's not as good as this one. And the original game, oh well, yeah, that's Mario Power Tennis. Also, it was on the GameCube as well. Next up is Mario Super Sluggers. I really hope they make a sequel to this game. This game was so much fun, so much fun. It says batter up in the back. So many characters you can play as. I really have so much fun with this game. Next up is Mario Sport Mix. This is so much fun. Uh, <laughs> I enjoyed the basketball one the most, but this was, this was so, oh, man. It has basketball, it has hockey, and I believe it has I think it has volleyball as well. Yeah. And dodgeball. Pretty fun games. Just the back. Next up is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. This is believe I believe it's just the first very first game to have Mario and Sonic. I believe this is. But this was a big deal when it first came out because a lot of people didn't expect Mario and Sonic to be in the same game ever. But pretty fun game. I enjoyed the mini games on here. Next up is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. I didn't put too much time into this one. I had got this one pretty late. You know, I think by the time I got this one, the the sequel for this one was already out and you know I didn't put too much time into this one but pretty fun next up is Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games now this one is one of my favorites I like the bike the bicycle event the bikeathon I like that one a lot that was like my favorite one to play and there was so many horse Horse riding, well, horseback riding is just very fun, very fun. Okay, next up is Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. To be honest, I'm not really into the Warrior games. I know a lot of people like them, but I never, never really got into them. 
But they are fun games though. And they're making a new one on the Switch. This one I really want to play. Wario Land Shake It. Really want to play this one. I think I only play like one level. But from what I play, it's a very fun game. So I can't wait to get into that. And that's it for the Mario games. Oh. Now let's get into the other ones, the other first parties. Next up is Wii Sports Resort. It's basically Wii Sports, but just added some more sports. As you can see in the front, surfing, basketball, and archery. Pretty fun. I enjoyed the original Wii Sports. So this one is um this one is fun as well. Next up is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. This one was pretty cool. Now I'm not huge on Smash Brothers. I think I said it in my other video. But you know, I'm not huge on these games anymore. I mean they're fun when you have people over, but playing it by yourself is not that fun. But what makes it better? And a snake in it. <laughs> Next up is Kirby's Epic Yawn. This is also on the 3DS as well. Pretty fun, relaxing game. Very easy game. Um, I didn't 100% it, but I'm sure I can. This game is very easy, but it's pretty fun. The Kirby games are always very relaxing. Doesn't take itself too seriously, so you're not going to be, you know... It's not going to be very difficult to get through the game, but it's pretty fun though. My favorite Kirby game, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I love this game. I really want to play this game again. I really want to try to 100% it because this is this is my absolute favorite Kirby game. Next up is Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition. I do have the box for it. But the box is in the closet somewhere. I don't feel like getting it out. But um, this is a cool collection. It has uh, Kirby's Dream Land. It has Kirby's Adventure. Kirby's Dream Land 2. Kirby Superstar. Um, Kirby's Dream Land 3. Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. So if you never played a Kirby game before and you want to get into the Kirby games, I highly recommend picking this up. Um, it might be a bit pricey now because this game is pretty old now and came out. Um, I forgot when it came out, but let me see uh, when it came out. I said what date? 2012, so almost 10 years ago. But this is a fun collection to have. This was part of the 20th anniversary for Kirby at the time. It's going to be 30 next year. Next up is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, I really want to play this version. But I'm not sure if I should wait until Nintendo announce a Switch version for this. I have a feeling they're going to. Seeing as well, Skyward Sword is selling. They're going to probably bring this game to the Switch. So I hope they do because I do want to play this game again. But in 60 frames per second, not in 30. But if they never do, then oh well, I have this one or the Wii U version. But I do want to play the Wii version though. Even though it's gonna look like shit. But this game was very fun. It's much more difficult than Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is a bit easier than this one. But I did enjoy this one. Speaking of Skyward Sword, here's Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii. This is the original version. A part of the 25th anniversary of Zelda at the time. Well, 10 years ago. Um, I love this game. I played it on Wii. I just beat it on the Switch twice. <laughs> on regular mode and hero mode. I, I love this game. I love the music. I love the characters. The gameplay is pretty fun. You know, I like that you can use the, the regular controller now. And it just makes the game a hell of a lot more fun. You know. If I had to recommend which version to get, just... Just go with the Switch version, it's better, way better. 
Next up is Tatsunoko versus Capcom. This one's a really fun fighting game. It kind of went under the radar because of Marvel vs. Capcom, but this was um, this was really fun. You know, it was a good party game as well. Really wish I got into this more though, but it's fun though. I so I like it. Next up is Metroid Other M. I didn't really play this one. A lot of people didn't like it. They gave people gave it a lot of shit. But I don't know why people didn't like it. <laughs> I'm sure it's a good game. But <laughs> I just don't understand why. So maybe if I play it, I will. But yeah. And this guy kind of looks like M. Bison from Street Fighter for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Next up is Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Never played this one. I never played the Metroid Prime game at all. Um, I kind of wish I had got the Metroid Prime Trilogy for the Wii when I saw it at a GameStop one day, a physical copy. I kind of wish I got it, but I passed up on it. You know, and I regret doing that. But I can always download them on the Wii U eShop for $20. Next up is Donkey Kong Country Returns. I love this game. The Donkey Kong Country games are some of my favorite games of all time. And this one was a blast to play through. I might go back to this and try to 100% it. I might go back and try to 100% Tropical Freeze as well. Just so, so much fun with this game. Next up is Punch Out. Never beat this game. I think I had got up to somebody and I just gave up. <laughs> but I do want to try and go back and play it. You know, because I actually do want to beat this game. And I wish they make a sequel already. They're just taking too damn long. <laughs> Next up is The Conduit. Um, I didn't hear about this game until I watched a YouTube video. Um, his name is Oscar Torres, and he's a big fan of the Wii. He's actually said that um, the Wii um, console is his second favorite console of all time. His favorite console is the N64, and he was speaking about this game, and I saw that he um, mentioned it, and he was the reason why I bought it. So I will link his channel in the description of my video so you can check his channel out. Um, he, had a, he hasn't made a video in a while, but I'll just link it to my own to the description so you can check them out but I do want to try this game I do want to play it though it looks fun it looks really fun I think they have a part two as well so I probably will end up getting that as well if I like this one enough next up is go vacation they do have this on the switch this is pretty cool you know it's not mind blowing or anything like that but it's all right good for a quick little fun game uh, let me just get the rest of these right here okay next up is face breaker ko party <laughs> this is a pretty wacky boxing game as you can see by the characters they all look pretty ugly you know but I'm sure it's fun with, with with friends and stuff like that, but you know, it's a, just a pretty wacky game. It doesn't take itself seriously. You know, it's all right. Next up is GoldenEye 007. Very good game. I remember when this first came out. I remember being very excited because I thought this was a this was going to be a remake of the original N64 game, but it didn't, it turns out it's not. This is just a region a reimagining of it, you know, because they couldn't use the same actors. So, but this is fun though. I, I did enjoy this one, and it was a good shoot on the Wii. At the time, it was exclusive to the Wii at one point, and then they released it on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 the next year. Next up is NBA Live 2008. Um, pretty fun basketball game. Um, it's pretty interesting that they brought some of these games to the Wii. <laughs> um, 
it's just funny how you shoot and pass and everything. It's it's pretty difficult to play because <laughs> I tried playing and I couldn't do it, but maybe I'll try it again one day. Next up is NBA Jam. I love NBA Jam. One of my favorite basketball games of all time. One of my favorite sports games of all time. Um, I love the original NBA Jam. I love the NBA Jam Tournament Edition, NBA Hang Time, uh, I just love those. And this newer version is great. You know, this is uh, the last NBA Jam to ever come out. This is also on PS3 and 360 as well. And But the Wii version is pretty interesting. You can just flip the controller to shoot, which I really liked. Hurts your arm after a while though. Next up is Toy Story 3. Very fun game, very fun platforming game. You know, I'm so glad I have this again. I used to have it on PS3 a while ago, but for some strange reason I got rid of it. I don't know why, because this is a fun game. You know, I really want to replay it again. Okay, now we've got the Resident Evil games. We have Resident Evil Archives. This is basically the remake of Resident Evil, the first one from the GameCube, they ported it to the Wii. This is, to me, the best remake for a game ever. <laughs> I love this game. Way better than the original. Very fun, scary, creepy game. I love it. Next up is Resident Evil Zero. Also a port from the GameCube. And if you want to know what happened before the mansion, play this game. It's very good. Um, the co-op is it's all right. You know, you have to switch between characters, so it could be it could be kind of annoying. You know, because you won't be able to progress without switching through characters. You know, it'd have been better if this was two players as opposed to one, but. They probably would have had to make it split screen for that to happen. Next up is Resident Evil, The Umbrella, the Umbrella Chronicles. Um, I didn't beat this game. I think I got up to, I forgot how far I got, but I didn't get that far and I, I just stopped playing. But really want to revisit it though. Next up is Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. This one I haven't played either, but I do want to play it because I want to know what happens, you know, between um, Leon and Krauser. Because I know they both knew each other from the past, but I never knew what happened. So for you to find out what happened, you have to play this one. It's so Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. Next up is Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. This is like my second favorite Resident Evil game behind part two. I love this game. Um, I might try and play the Wii version. It'll be kind of hard to because, um, you know, so many newer versions is way better than this. But pretty fun game. I love it. Not pretty fun. Really fun game. I played this so many times. And last few games in the collection will be Call of Duty games. So the first one is Cold Duty Modern Warfare, yeah, Modern Warfare, Reflex Edition. Um, it's pretty fun. The only thing I don't like, they don't give you the option to use a regular controller. So you have to use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. You know, this is something I couldn't get used to when playing these games. But they are fun games, though. So. Next up is Cold Duty World at War. The first Call of Duty to have zombies, zombie mode, and the zombie mode just took off. It's like its own thing now, and I love this game. I used to play it a lot in PlayStation 3. Barely played it on here, though. Next up is Call of Duty Black Ops. It's like my favorite Call of Duty. Now, this one, they finally give you the option to use a regular controller. Pretty fun. I keep saying pretty fun, but just have a habit of saying pretty fun. Well, this game is dope. 
I love this game. And last but not least is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now this one has a lot of memories for me. You know, if you watch my PlayStation 3 video, you'll know the reason why. But um, <clears throat> this is like my second favorite behind Black Ops. I absolutely love this game. Love the story, love everything about it. I can still play this to this day. Especially the um, the survival mode. That one was really fun, that was my shit. But yeah, that's Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3. And that is it for the video. That's my Wii collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please feel free to leave a like on it as it helps get my videos out there. I would really appreciate it. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what's your favorite Wii game. Um, let me know if you still play it. Let me know if you still have it or if you don't have it no more, if you sold it, you know. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. And um, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. And I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. And have a good day.